today we are at ASU at the annual TRAS Symposium. TRAS is Texas Research Institute for Young Scholars. It's a project, a research project for GT students in grades one through five. And today they are presenting their research to uh, jurors and to the public. This is our eighth year to do TRAS. Dr. Carol Ann Bonds, our former superintendent, brought the project when she came to San Angelo. This year we did rename the symposium, the Dr. Carol Ann Bond Symposium, in her honor. And uh, we've made a few changes in our approach. Uh, this year, instead of picking a global issue, the kids could pick a topic that they're passionate about. We're trying to teach them to do authentic research and again to develop passions and to learn to uh, pursue their interests. They still work with a mentor, so every project in the room had an expert in the field that they worked with. Some of the students use technology. The kids are working in uh, either individually or in a group of two or three students. One of the beauties of the TRIAS project is the volunteerism that has really developed. Because a lot of these kids have done tremendous community involvement, uh, all kinds of raising money to buy books. They work at Safety City. Uh, there's a young man over here, a little second grader, who has developed uh, a bracelet using a QR code to tell if you're diabetic or autistic or have a medical condition, a little second grader. So this year, we worked with kids to figure out how to determine something that they're interested in. They, it, I mean, it runs the gamut. There's all kinds of projects in here that kids wanted to research. And so the, the basic purpose of the pro program is to give our GT kids the opportunity to learn to do authentic research. Uh, if, if I could uh, pick one thing that I want the kids to learn most from a project such as this, it's enthusiasm for learning, uh, passion for learning, and the excitement in this room. Uh, when the kids walked in the first thing this morning, it was just pretty much overwhelming. In addition to enthusiasm for learning, I mean, it's obvious, they're presenting to judges, they're having to organize their materials. Again, a lot of them have got a technology component. Um, just presentation skills, uh, the ones that have chosen to work in a group of two or three have to learn to, uh, the dynamics of group work. I hope that from this project that uh, there's been good uh, separate conversation with their parents because if kids are passionate about something, should probably extend to the family. So hopefully there's been a re-engaging of uh, conversation between parents and, and students, grandparents and students.